Well, they used to trust us through this fabulous Eau Rouge corner with Formula One cars, Marky, but now we're down to go ped. Could that say it's a great personal challenge? It's man and machine versus tarmac, really, isn't it? It separates the men from the boys. This is an awesome corner in Grand Prix racing and certainly one with huge commitment needed. It's a lot steeper than you ever realise on the TV, isn't it? I think that's about as far as we're going to get, mate. But look at this track surface, Mark. I'm surprised, considering you come in here at 170 miles an hour, just how poor quality it is. It is, considering that the runoff area that's laid down now is in a lot better condition than the actual racetrack. But it does look as if you make a little mistake in the mid-corner, you'll survive and tiptoe around the outside and live for another day. Yeah, but I'm a lot more happy with the fact that there is track down there now as opposed to gravel. At least there's friction now, slow the car down. I much prefer that than seeing the gravel. And you won't fly through the air now if you do make a mistake. If you do need to use this new piece of tarmac as an escape zone, it's going to be pretty difficult. You're doing approaching 170 miles an hour still, and it'll be like threading the eye of a needle at the top here, Mark. It will be, but the problem as well, if you're here, you're likely to be out of control. You've got to get back on the track. If you don't manage to get the eye of the needle, you're going to cross these curbs. Big height differential, very tricky, and especially in the wet, big, big issue. Talking about in the wet, there's one more twist in the tail over here. They've extended the pit lane exit for the Formula 3000 cars. With this white line, they must not cross this line until they've reached the racetrack. And in the pouring rain, this is extremely slippery. I think anybody getting a little bit wide up here is going to be spinning off. On board with new Jordan boy, John Alacy, in his first exploratory laps of this wonderful Spa circuit. Up to 190 miles an hour, seventh gear, heading towards Lake Coombe. Turn five, brake very late, it's slightly uphill. 85 to the first right-hander, immediately into the left. Still 85 miles an hour, Malmody corner now, 105. A little bit tight on the exit, falling downhill towards Rivage. A little difficult to break, easy to lock the right front, no problems this time around. 60, hesitant on the exit, you have to be. Slingshot into the left-hander, turn nine. 95 already, cascading downhill, easily building speed up to 180. Two on one of the most difficult corners. 130 on the way in, immediately back on the throttle. 160 already through the exit towards the Fania chicane. Turns 12 and 13, stay to the right if you can. Immediately then into that left hand at 95 miles an hour, ride the curb on the right, switch immediately to the left. Turn 14, just 80, get on the power early, heading towards Stavolo. Can he stay full throttle? Not yet, the car's not quite right, building up to 185 miles an hour, taking a nice, smooth, clean line towards the next terrifying left-hander. So Blanchimont, 190 miles an hour thereabouts on arrival. I think there's less skill involved in this corner, but probably more fear. It's tough, isn't it? It is a tough corner. It's blind, you approach it very high speed, and in the wet, visibility is a big issue. But I think you're right. I don't think there's so much skill involved in this. But nonetheless, you've still got to be completely committed. At least now there, again, is a new tarmac runoff, so you can't fly on the gravel. But very few drivers bother to ever have a look. But there's a very nasty surprise on the outside of the exit of this corner. Here is the surprise. If you do manage to start flying through the air, what have you got to save you? You've got four sets of old tyres, and you've got a very nasty, nasty drop. Absolutely. A valley, trees, even a helipad. No wonder the drivers don't bother to have a look. All that's left now is to pick the right braking point for the bus stop and bully those curbs into total submission. The exit is easier. Turn 20, you're already doing 160 miles an hour as you cross the start-finish line before braking heavily into La Source. First gear, 40 miles an hour. Alacy's gone.